Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to some more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. And we have been turned into a shadow because I could not say... Well, because freaking boss of the place. But I walked into the mayor's house and see this. Look who I found. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We owe you so much, Mario. Please take this as a token of our thanks. Eat up. They're having a party, and I can't have any of it. Uh, Gonzales, what's up with you lately? You're kind of freaking me out. I mean, I'm all for acting like a complete loon, but it's not exactly in your character. Uh, Mario, you seem kind of different. Ah, oh, it's good that my friends know. I mean, you're sort of like the life of the party now, so I guess that's cool. My, 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 Mario, you're rather dramatic of late, aren't you? To be honest, dear, I rather enjoyed your quiet dignity and strength of character. Boy, Mario, you sure got chatty all of a sudden. I mean, you, like, never talk. Oh, well, I guess it's not too totally weird or anything. Oh, come on, you guys should know. Hey, ha, whoa, he, wah, look at me, look at me, it's-a me, Mario. Wah, ha, ha, ha. Smack. It's a not to him. Now, who may you be? I don't remember inviting any shadows to my house. Sorry, but Mario is visiting today. If you don't need anything, please leave. But I do. I need my body back. Um, yeah, okay, this is, before this sounds weird, I'm gonna leave, because we have someone down here. Hey there. Sniff, I'm looking for a very important item. If I don't find it, my sister's gonna punish me again, but it's just not here. Well, let me help you look. I actually know where it is, because I accidentally, like, moved the bush before I started the video, so it's like right here. Shabam! You got Super Bomb Bomb. Won't Vivian be punished if she doesn't find this? Maybe I want to see her get punished. Like, what's the worst that... What's the worst that Beldum can do? Unless it's whipping. You don't want to be whipped. Here, take it. What? You found it? All for you. Oh, oh, thank you so much. Thank goodness. At least I won't get punished now. She still... She'll still punish you. Oh no, it's... It's broken. It must have broken when my sister dropped it. What'll I do? What'll I do? I guess I was just meant to be punished for life. Hey, don't feel bad. Thanks, you're very sweet. That actually makes me feel a little better. I wasn't going to say let me fix it, because then I might actually just blow the both of us <laughs> up. And well, <laughs> I guess that's a better life than what you're doing right now. But hey, that doesn't mean you should blow yourself up. But what'll I do now? My sisters will be back any minute now. Hmm... Hey, wait just a second. What's your name anyway? Won't you tell me? What? I can't hear you. Your name was stolen? I see. Well, I guess that happens from time to time. Wait, no it doesn't! Your name was stolen? That's absolutely crazy! So we're just gonna chat in the moonlight? Isn't this romantic? Gee whiz, you have way worse problems than I do. And you were worried about me that whole time? That's so kind. Alright, that's it. I'm going to help you get your name back, and your body, and your friends. No, 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 no. Hey, that's okay. Don't worry about my problems. I'm not sure I really want to stay with my sisters anymore anyway, and I feel like I need to repay your earlier kindness. It's the right thing to do. So, <laughs> here we go. Just because I'm a shadow now doesn't mean you can get all friendly with me now. But hey, hey, I got Vivian. Vivian's ability a primer. Press X to have Vivian pull Mario into the shadows where they can hide. Zoom. <laughs> wow, that's ironic. <laughs> when hiding in the shadows, press X to re-emerge. In battle, Vivian can set her enemies on fire with her Shade Fist. Or she and Mario can hide in the shadows to avoid damage with her Veil move. That's exactly what I want for those stupid hyper... Goombas and whatnot. I guess we need to find out that ghost's real name first, huh? That'll be a start. Now, how are we going to get that kind of information? Oh, hey, I have sort of an idea. Birds pretend to be innocent with people around, but they actually really well informed from all that flying and eavesdropping. With my power, you can listen in to their curved conversations without them knowing. So in addition to villagers, let's also try to get some information from the local birds. That's at least I can do. Yeah, I'd lend you my powers. So now I can just whoosh. Too bad I can't move, but... This is sort of like Bow in the original Paper Mario. Just avoid everything. Hey. Ka ka ka. 
Zoom. So I was chatting with Rockbeak in Mushroom Town on Instant Messenger today, yesterday, and he said he'd just gone in fiber optic on his home network. Do you believe that? Brad, I bet he's downloading 100 megs apps with no problems on those fat pipes. He's probably surfing the Feather Club for Crowsight at the speed of light now. Yeah, it just blows me away all this information age hype you hear about. And yet it's all games and Feather Lost sites that are driving the technology. Yeah, but I think tech bus survivors can thrive and yeah, you guys are not giving me the information I require. How about you guys? Are you going to talk about the Feather less or feather loss sites i've been really depressed lately thinking about the depletion of fossil fuels yeah tell me about it we've got to come up with a renewable energy source before that happens like wind or hydroelectric i think solar energy probably has a greater potential you guys are not helping either i need some birds with that are in the know who here is in the know are you in the know you're all by yourself Alas, this twilight world is too full of pain and contradiction, too full, too full of broken dreams. Perhaps I was only given wings so that I could flee this terror of mundanity. Mundity, mundala, your, your, your English is too, too advanced for me. Alas, I must listen to these more birds. Hey, Maud, listen to this. Ronnie Moldus is taking his sats this year. Oh, is little Ronnie that age already? Well, bless my feathers, Flo. But bless my ears. God damn it. The last thing I need is midwife crows. Not midwife crows. Middle-aged women crows. Are you guys going to speak or what? So that Mario guy meeting with the mayor, he's actually the bad guy, right? And nobody even knows. Humans are so dumb, it makes me want to peck their noses. So, wait, these people all classified as humans? Like, really? Like, I understand these people, because, you know, maybe the natural environment changed them to what they are. So maybe they were humans at one time, but, like, I don't know. I guess Mario and uh, Peach and them are not the only humans? The only soul that knows the bad guy's name is locked under creepy steeple, I hear. Because, you know, if one, if no one knows your name, then you can use unstoppable magic. But if someone says your real name to you, then your magic will stop working. So I wonder how all this is going to end up, then. Did you hear that? If we searched under Creepy Steeple, maybe we could find out that guy's real name. Let's go to Creepy Steeple. Caw, caw, caw. Onward. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. I would have done this back in town, but that wouldn't have been looked very good, would it? So, this is the one who stole your name and body. Hmm, he looks sort of familiar to me. Alright, that- alright, can the chatter. Here's the deal. You get your chance, then I stomp you. If you get my real name, then you get your body and name back. Fire away, no name. And I still don't have P. How about I go all caps? Because I'm pissed off. Don't bless! Wrong Amundo, little nobody! But that is your name! I just put it all caps! <laughs> God damn it. Ugh. Um, I can't, I can't harm you. How much is Veil, anyway? Oh my god, really? Wow. Alright, we're running away. Pew! Aww, that's no fun. It will be fun when I come and say your name. He must have been hiding there in ambush waiting for you to show up. Well, forget him. Let's go get your name back. Shamak. Now I can actually use her veil move. It costs so cheap. Like, seriously. This is great. So now that these guys, like, power up, I can just hide under the... Press the buttons that appear on the screen. Uh, four damage. Not bad. And they're burned! 
Wow. Okay, so see, that now they're powering up. I see that. And you're burned. I can kill you in one hit. And then instead of trying to dodge, we're just gonna... Zoom. And nothing happens. And that only cost one FP. Ah, I tried to do the super thing, but oh well. Oh, that takes up a turn. Oh, oh, I'm not liking that. Wrong button. There we go. Got it. I hit Y by accident first. I am not liking that. I mean, in the first Paper Mario, Bow's um, ability, it used up her turn, but I was still able to attack. In this one, it takes up an entire turn. Which, in hindsight, I'm totally okay with, because it's still, they would have to use one full turn in order to power up anyway. But, uh, it kind of, it kind of avoids the purpose of, oh, wow, did not know that was there. It kind of avoids the purpose of using Veil to begin with. It does prevent me from using Veil, like, every turn. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, Vivian is, like, good and all, especially with that burn. Like, seriously. It essentially adds an extra point of damage for her. Because she does four damage now, but if she burns the opponent, it will... It does, like, five. Essentially, if she succeeds in burning. I'm just skipping these battles out because, you know, I've battled them before. But, yeah, so she could be a very good partner to have, but I think Gregor is the better one. It's hard to say because I think Gregor powered up. Let me see. If she's powered up, she'll do five damage and then burn, which would be six. Gregor does two, four, five. Six. Yeah, they do the same. Granted, her burning will always do one point of damage, oh, point of damage, but, and she's got the veil, but I think Gregor's a little better. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, it's under the creepy steeple, they said, but I'm not exactly sure where I'm supposed to go. Oh, I remember, I know, I know, I remember now. I remember! I'm not gonna like it, because I gotta go through this freaking thing again. We... Boing, hi. These guys. Oh, you struck me. Oh, frig. I gotta flip you over, but I'm not gonna be able to flip you over without... I need, like, a spike protection badge. Ha ha ha, he's frozen. And he took one point of damage. Sucks to be you! Uh, I almost hit the wrong button. Alright, I'm probably going to have to end up fighting all these guys. I wonder if I can avoid them. Oh. Whoa. Push, push, push. Ah, oh, good. Ha. I got away. There's no need to fight them all. But I'll just push this all the way up here, and then... Zoom! I mean, that pretty much guarantees I can't go back that way, but hey. It gets me to where I want to go. <gasps> Do I have enough? Oh, I have. I already had enough. I could power up Vivian. Because that's who I want to power up. <laughs> but screw Flurry. Like, what, what was the point of designing something like this? Smash. Okay, this is. Something over there, but what's over here? Nothing? Nothing, okay. Just squeeze through here. Uh, Power Plus? Oh my god! Mr. Softener. Soften up enemies for a bit, decreasing their defense. Ah. Uh, Let's get rid of the Thunderbolt. Just give me a minute. I have a soft stomp, right?
I'm half tempted, like, if that's what... I don't know, but I have Power Plus. So I need to figure out what I want to get rid of for Power Plus. Um, I gotta keep Power Plus P. Uh, Mega Rush, Happy Heart, Close Call, Power Bounce, oh wait. Power Bounce. <laughs> then we'll go Power Plus and go back to getting Close Call maybe. I don't know, Soft Stomp could be really helpful, because th if that works, it uses... It lowers their defense, which is something that's helpful. Ooh! Yeah, give me the Soft Stomp. Soft Stomp. I can lower the defense and then, like, use my power hammer, which will do, like, massive damage. Good morning! Good morning! P! Woo! Got the letter P! Yeah! What's in there, then? Steeple key. Huh. Oh, yeah, it gets me out of here. Shoom! Squawk? What happened to those weirdos who were just here? Ah, oh, whatever. Squawk, it's almost nice to have some... It's nice to have some company. I mean, no matter how important it is that no one know. I mean, no matter how important it is that no one knows his real name, locking me up in here just because I know it, and making me guard the stupid missing... The name stupid missing letter. No way to treat a parent. I really want a cracker. Dupless, you're a big meanie when the wind's feeding time, huh? Yeah, see? I, I needed the letter P. He hid P from me. Uh, pretty bird. Pretty bird. Yep, I know. You you can be all pretty bird all you want. I know his name. Yes, you're a pretty bird. How about a cracker? You're free to go. <laughs> we heard that. We heard the little birdie. Dupless, that's his name. Now let's get your name and body back from that meanie. And we'll teach him a lesson or two while we're at it. Yep. That's where we open freed all the booze. And I got the number wrong. Come on. Let's a go. Hello, all 200 booze. Right? There was 200 of you. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. You guys don't need to try to force me out. I think I'll get to the point where I um, can get my name back at least. Actually, no. I might as well just end things here. Because after I get his name back, I think he's going to run away. And then we're going to do one more battle, I think? It's been a while, so I don't know. So I'm going to head back to Dupless. I'll see you guys later. What? Why, did... Why did I make that bird sound like an old man? Yeah, I've been waiting for you too. I know your name now. You boos are in the way. I can't see me. No one can stop me now. All will kneel before the ex not regime. Even though I've, I don't need your help, I've already, I pretty much got him nearly dead. Wow, are you Gigas now? Tired of this whole back and forth bullshit. 